in this video let's learn about the events in JavaScript. Events are a special type of actions that are detected by JavaScript and that actions can be a click or a mouse over or mouse out or other kind of events. So let me show a demonstration of the click event here. So this is my page events.html and on this page we have a button and in this button we have it written on click event. You can see that there are many event. All the events generally start with on. So on blur, on click, on debug click and so on. But in this example I'm going to show the use of on click event. So here we have written on click and then on this click event we have specified uh, the test function. This is the JavaScript function. So what we are basically instructing is that when this button will be clicked, fire this test function. And in this test function what we are doing is that we are writing a lot and then on a click event occurs. So now what will happen is basically when this uh, JavaScript function will fire, then it will give me a alert. So let me go ahead and show you this. When I click it, you can see that the JavaScript function test function is firing and it is giving me alert on click event fired, on click event occurred. Now in the event series, let us learn the few other uh, events as well. So now I am going to show the demonstration of on focus event. In case we have to execute a JavaScript function on focus on the element, then we can use this. And let me show you that. So here we have one event called on focus. Yes. Now here what we are trying to do is that we have a button here called submit. And before the button we have a text box called txt name. And on this uh, element, on this text box, we are basically executing on focus event and on this uh, event we have a specified got focus javascript function and then we are passing this dot id as the parameter this dot id is uh, will give the value of the id attribute of this particular element so it will basically give me txt name and this got focus id what we are doing is that we are using document dot get element by id and we are passing the id this ID the ID that we are getting as the parameter and we are specifying its background color so a style dot background is equal to the background color that we want to specify now when I will run this page what will happen is that as soon as uh, this text box will get focus means when I will click uh, my mouse on that text box on focus event will fire and it will execute this function and that function will basically change its background color so you can see that its background color is changing if I will ex uh, specify its background color is for example yellow then you will notice that when I will press our mouse there its background color will change to yellow so this was the demonstration of on focus event now the next how to we are going to learn is the on blur for example, you have to execute a JavaScript function when an element is losing its focus. Then you can use uh, this particular event. So let me show you that. On blur is here. Here you can see that again I have a text box and I have a button. On the text box we have a specified on blur event and in on blur event we are calling the function called call function. And we are passing the parameter as the ID of this particular text box and then the same thing we have specified the background color to whatever background color we want to specify now because we have a specified on blur event so as soon as i will lose the focus from this text box let me go ahead and run this page and then show you that now i have focused on this text box as soon as i will click somewhere else so naturally the text box will lose the focus then this particular call function will execute and it will change its background color you can see that I clicked here and it is changing its background color. Now in case I have to change its background color to something different, for example red, then I will just change the background color value equal to red and I am clicking here. As soon as I will click somewhere else, the background color is changing to red. So this was the on blur event. 
Similarly, we have many other events, for example, on change, uh, on submit, and uh, on load. Let me cover this on submit because this is very important. In case we want to execute a function when the HTML form is being submitted, we can follow this approach. Okay, so for that, let me demonstrate uh, uh, here. The page name is on submit. Now here as you can see that we have a form called and on the action attribute we have a specified alert.html it means that when this form will be submitted I want this form to be submitted on alert.html method is post and in this we have a specified on submit event so this on submit event will fire when the form is actually being submitted to the alert.html page and in this on submit we are uh, we are uh, writing return call function it means that i am expecting some value to be returned from this call function and inside that function is that we have written uh, a text box and a button and this is my call function that we are basically uh, calling in on the submit event so I, I either you can keep it here or maybe we can keep it outside this form maybe inside the head and in this call function what we are doing is that we are first checking if the value of the text box so document dot get event by id and the id name id name of the text box dot value so if the text box value is it funda a small it f u n d a then return true and if it is not then simply uh, give a alert saying that write it funda in the text box and then we are returning false now what will happen is that when user will write it funda into the text box what will happen is that this particular condition will be met and it will return true so when this function will return true what will happen is that this form will get submitted on alert.html page but if user will not write it funda into the text box then it will come into the else block and it will show an alert and then it will return false so if this will return false then this form will not be submitted on the page in this case alert.html page so let's see this in the demonstration now here i am not writing it funda but i am writing dotnet funda.com and i am clicking submit now you can see that it the text box value is not dotnet it funda.com so it is not coming to the first if block it is going to the else block so it is giving me a message write it funda in the text box and then it is returning false so the form will not get submitted you can see that form is not being submitted and if i will write it funda then you can see that the form is getting submitted and it is trying to submit on alert.html page so this was the on submit event this now rest all the events that we have covered into this uh, ebook is uh, easily understandable based on what i have already explained last two to three events so i'm just skipping those things and i'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, demonstrate the error handling in javascript so how to handle error in javascript now you you must be knowing if you are if you have already developed the application so you must be knowing that uh, no, we cannot control the error okay in one or the other scenario or other circumstances error might occur and that is the same case in javascript also so in case some error is happening or in case you are writing the code that is prone to error then how to handle that kind of error so in order to handle that kind of error what we do is that we use the try and catch block let me show you that so here is the error handling now here uh, what we are doing is that we have a button and on click of the button we are calling test function and in the test function what we are doing is that we are calling another function call call a function that is not defined i am purposefully calling this function because that function is not defined so when this function is not defined naturally it will throw error right so first let me put this without try catch block so i'm simply writing it here so that this function will be called now because this function has not been defined so it will throw error so let me go ahead and run this page now i'm clicking here and you can see that i'm getting error the value of property call a function that is not defined is null or 
undefined not a functional object now if user will see this kind of error naturally he will not feel good about it isn't it because we are just displaying the raw error to the user so it's it's a good idea and uh, handle this kind of error and display a nice you now polite and very uh, light error so here what we are doing is that we are wrapping the function inside the try block so whatever code we feel that may throw error we can keep that code block inside the try so here i feel that this particular function can throw error because this is this does not exist in 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 your real scenario you you can write some kind of code that you think that can throw error okay and if that will throw error then uh, it will come to the catch block or in the and in the catch block what we are doing is that we are basically catching the error and we are displaying the error with a very uh, simple polite message that oops an error occurred sorry please try again later and if you want to display the exact error that has occurred then you can uh, just uh, write that e is nothing but the event handler and uh, now when i will run this page you will see that i am clicking the button you can see that it is not displaying the raw error that has occurred but it is simply displaying the error message that we have written into the alert oops an error occurred sorry please try again later so this is the way to basically handle the error if you are familiar with c sharp i think it will be very easy to for you to understand that how to handle error in javascript because it is almost similar to the c sharp the only difference is that there is no finally block here okay you have try and then catch that's it now in the next how to we are going to learn that how to display special characters in javascript okay so let me show a uh, example here then it will be easy to understand so a special a special characters now here what we are doing is that we want to basically display this alert message let me first remove this so let me explain this code i have a button on click of the button we are calling the alert me function and on this alert me function we are showing an alert so let me run this page you can see that i am i am giving this much of big uh, alert message this sentence has a double quote being displayed using a skip character fine now we are saying that this sentence has a double quote but we are not displaying basically double quote so in case we have to display double quote then what we need to do we need to write the escape character and the escape character is backslash now when i will refresh this page and click the button you can see that i will be able to show the double quote here if you will not write this escape character you will see that it will error out because this is not properly formatted see i am getting the error so in order to display the special characters in the javascript as a message you need to use the escape character and that character is basically back uh, backspace now in case i have to display the this much of line into the next line in the message in the alert box then we can use backslash n as you can see here this sentence has a double quote and then backslash n is being converted into the next line and then being displayed using escape character so this is the way to basically display a special character as a message in the javascript